welcome to Curious Creatures. My name is Cora Gaddis, and today we are talking about beluga whales. Beluga whales are found globally throughout Arctic and subarctic waters. They prefer coastal inlets and can move in between freshwater and saltwater. Beluga whales are named after their snow white skin. However, they're born gray, and it takes eight years for their skin to develop their special color. They're very social creatures traveling in pods that range from a couple individuals to hundreds of whales. They have a bulbous forehead called a melon. It's flexible and they can change its shape to make expressions. Beluga whales can produce a number of unique sounds, such as chirps, whistles, squeals, and clicks. This has earned them the nickname, the canary of the sea. However, their noises have a purpose. They seem to uh, use echolocation to find prey. Beluga whales are threatened by pollution, um, habitat degradation, the oil and gas industry, and noise pollution that prevents them from communicating with one another. A couple good charities to donate to are the Beluga Whale Alliance and the World Wildlife Fund. This has been Cora Gaddis with Curious Creatures. Thanks for listening. Mr. Sidner. And these are your ASL words of the week. This week we're doing some animals, so we're going to start with giraffe. We have zebra and also vulture. Those are your ASL words of the week. Have a great weekend. Hi, I'm Joseph Faulkner, and this is your GNN News. On Sunday, January 23rd, it is Miss Smith's birthday, so happy birthday to you. On Thursday, January 27th, it's the talent show in the evening from 7 to 8 p.m. in the auditoria. On Friday, January 28th, it's the school show talent show on bells 2 to 4 in the auditoria. Also, the dance has been moved from today, Friday, to February 4th, and the good news about that is that you still have time to plan out and make plans and get whatever else you need to do for the dance. And your good news for the week is a drone helped save the life of a cardiac arrest person by delivering a special tool that will help him. I'm Jess Popkins, this has been your Gene and News. <laughs>